Okay, the next section we're going to just have a quick look at before we just jump straight into and start um, uh, making lights go up and down is the show options here on the main screen with nothing selected. If I hit S2, it will bring up a, uh, a, a window for us that shows us the show setup. Now, um, depending on whether you come from uh, never using a console before or having used a console before, you're going to um, know what I mean by the words tracking and queue only mode. For those of you that don't really know anything about how to plot a console, why don't we leave it in tracking mode because that'll probably give you the, the best um, understanding of the way consoles will be operated in general um, by uh, both strand lighting and other manufacturers. For those of you that are used to uh, a queue only mode console, you will understand what I mean. This is where you check that box and make it work in that kind of way. It will actually still be a tracking console. But what it will do is it will allow you to work with it as if it's a queue-only console. So it'll take all of the, the thinking that you need to do to, to make that work in that way. So for me, I'm going to leave that unchecked because uh, it's, a, it's a good way to, um, to, to move forward, I think, in, in console development. The rest of the options here under general... Um, kind of makes sense if you just have a bit of a read through them and see what they see what they say. Um, default queue record, um, what that means is uh, if you pull it down you'll see live delta block queue list and block everything. Leave it on live because what that effectively means is that um, when you hit record for a queue it will take the output from the console. So whatever you see on the stage is what's going to get recorded when you hit record. That's what live means. Same with look record. Um, uh, and, you know, down the track, once you understand how all these things work, you might want to fiddle with those, sesh those uh, things there. Up, down, percent. There's a button on the console. If you have a look at the console here, um, I've got up percentage and, and down percentage. And if you hit up, it goes up by a percentage and down, down by a percentage. So back on the screen, you can see um, this section here is where you tell it what that percentage is. I'm actually going to change that down to 5% because that's kind of what I'm used to. Uh, likewise, here on the hardware, we've got an on button just next to the keypad. This on button uh, is uh, when you hit it, you know, such and such channel on, it'll go to a level that's determined in this screen. And uh, on the screen here it says 80. I'm going to leave that at 80% because it just gives you the ability to bring something up without snapping it to full and possibly damaging the filament. Default colour space, CMY. If you don't know what that is, leave it alone. Um, if you do know what that is, you'll probably leave it alone as well because that'll be probably the colour space that you'll want to play with anyway. And finally, group key look page. Uh, a, a, a useful little thing, back on the, the, um, the hardware here, you'll see there's a button here marked group. That's the group key. And the group key, um, you use that to record... Uh, for those that used the 300 and 500 before, if you type group 1 record or record group 1, uh, you'll know that whatever lights are selected are going to be recorded into that group. Um, and uh, so what we can do is we can change uh, where that is being recorded. So um, a group is a, is a palette with particular um, features that we'll get to. But there are other palettes. There's a position palette. There's a colour palette. There's um, uh, an everything else palette. And there's submasters as well. So what this does is it gives you the ability on the screen here to, um, to uh, define where it's going to get recorded. Okay, so we'll leave that as group. Next option down here, queue list. Um, these are all the defaults for um, every queue list that you create in your uh, show. We can have many, many queue lists. So um, uh, this is where you set what, how they're going to work. The key thing here is that um, the way I like to work, I like to check the boxes that say go to queue on record and release fixtures on record slash update. And so what that means is that when I record a queue, it immediately goes to that queue. It's, it's just like hitting Q5 go. And uh, the second checkbox check there um, means that the fixtures that I've turned on prior to recording get released which means that the programmer releases control of those lights to the queue. 
So by having both of those two checkboxes checked, when you hit record, nothing will happen on stage. As far as um, everyone's concerned, the, the stage will be exactly as it was just before you hit record, but your console is then ready to record your next cue. And that's the key thing. You want to get this in, in rapid fire mode so you can quickly plot stuff. Check those two boxes. The next one down, uh, venue, it's all pretty self-descriptive. You just uh, put all the details about your show in there. Very worthwhile doing. Uh, the final option there, show save. Definitely something that you want to do before you start playing with the console and doing your show because you want to set up how the console is going to save things as you move through. So, just quickly running through the options here, um, show checkpoint time five minutes. Um, that means that the, uh, the show will save a checkpoint file every five minutes. So regardless of whether or not you hit save, it will save it for you every five minutes. Number of checkpoints saved, it says 100. I'm not going to change it. 100 seems like a lot, but, you know, who am I to argue with the console? So uh, I'll leave that at 100. Archive on save. Now, it currently says none. I'm going to change that to show folder. Now, what um, that does is that it, uh, whenever I hit save, it in a folder in the same place as the show file, it will put in a archive copy of the show. Okay, and how many archives it's going to keep? Well, that's down below here where it says file backup option. So I'll kick that up to 10. I'll say keep the last 10 times I hit save. So I can go back in time and go, you know what? I need to recall Q10 from three days ago. So uh, let's copy it out of there. Mirror save. Mirror save is definitely something you should switch on. For me, what I do with mirror save is um, I check that box there and the mirror save folder that I, I save it to is actually the, um, the E drive, which is the internal um, uh, key uh, that gives this console the permission for the number of channels it can run. And because it's a, a, a physically um, uh, removable device, it means that if you have a problem and your console... Uh, gets fried by a bit of uh, power, bad power coming up the, the mains or something like that, at least you've got a copy of the show saved outside of the little grey box inside, which means that if you have to move to another console, you've got your show file there ready to go. Conveniently on your channel key, which means you can plug it into your laptop and use your laptop to run your show. We'll talk a little bit about that in a tick. Um, so yeah, doing all of those setup things there um, sets you up ready to, uh, to save the show. The one last option I didn't touch on there was the backup folder. And that exists so that you could actually pop that um, archive on save folder, this option here. It says save to the backup folder as another option. And that backup folder could be somewhere else again. Again, it could be on a network, it could be on a, another USB stick, it could be wherever you like. So um, uh, that's another valuable thing to, uh, to keep in your back pocket if that's the way you want to save things. In any case, this is the way I want to save my show. I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to save my show. File, save. I'm going to call it uh, so that you guys can download it at some point in the future and see what it is I actually did. I'm going to call it video show, save, and we're off. Okay, that's it. That's what you need to do. We're ready to start plotting your show.